series in this lecture we are going to see one of the toughest concept in python that is list comprehension and let's try to master this topic let's try to understand what is list comprehension and how it is used okay so i've got a program here write a program to copy all elements of a list in an empty list with using list comprehension now there is a way to copy you have seen in how to copy elements using shallow copy or deep copy but I am using here another method to copy elements because it will help to easily understand the concept of list comprehension. So let's begin with this thing now. I have got a list here and I have got an empty list here and my task is see here I want all values of x for each of x which is present in list a. It means that these all are x, x or i whatever you say x is 4, x is 3, x is 2, x is 1 and now I want to check okay if if x is in A now what why I am not writing if here it simply means that if x is in A but I am writing for because I want the loops to take place loops or iterations if I had written here if then it it will check okay for if 4 in A okay 4 is in A and then it will stop completely and I want if 4 in A then do something and then again check for 3 then again check for 2 then again check for 1 that's why I'm writing for okay so for x in A if if x is present in A then what I need to do I need to append this x I need to append this x where I need to append this x in my empty list so i'll write b dot append x you know how to use append function and then i need to print this b okay and if i run this okay it will take okay so here b has been copied with all elements of x so simply what i have done what i wanted i have written in english i want all values of x i want these all values of x and where are these x values residing these are residing inside list a so i have written this thing here now how to write this entire thing using list comprehension let's check this control c and let me paste it here control v okay now it is pretty simple what i have written here in quotes just copy this quoted words here x for x in a and when i print this let me remove this thing when i print this now let's print this thing and see here same same output so this is the beauty of list comprehension you can write the entire thing inside a square bracket don't forget to write inside a square bracket this is square bracket means it is list comprehension you are storing this entire thing in b which is an empty list now by english meaning of comprehension it means that it knows everything it knows something okay so here my list no okay i have to append this thing i am not writing append i am not using the word append here but list comprehension knows that by writing this statement it means that i have to append okay so moving on to another task let's see what you have got write a program to copy a square value of all elements so i need now a square value of all elements and store these values in empty list earlier i don't didn't need that square value i only needed the values so this program will help me control c and let me copy paste this thing here let me copy paste this here i have got some more programs for you so we'll check them because this is a conceptual topic you need practice so i need to copy paste this thing control v and now i don't need x i need x into x okay now see now b has been appended with the square values of my original list elements here it is so what i can write i want all values of x into x 
for each value of x which is present in list A. So, the above statement, the above statement here will help me. Control C and when I copy this here, Control V and I need x into x. I need x into x and let's run this. Okay, so it's working. I hope you are getting this thing. Moving on to third example. Write a program to copy only those square values of element which are divisible by 2. Okay, so I need to square num original list values but I need only those values to be stored in empty list which are divisible by 2. So, let me again copy paste this thing here. Control C and if I copy paste using Control V here, what I need now? Control V. Okay. So, Control C, Control V has been done. Now, I will check for X, but I need to check if X mod 2 if the x value is divisible by 2 and I will check the remainder if remainder is 0 then I can say ok this x is divisible by 2 then I have to square that x value and append in b it's pretty simple so it will check ok 4 is divisible by 2 4 into 4 and append that square value in b 3 is not divisible by leave it, 2 is divisible by 2, again 2 into 4 and square, 1 is not divisible by 2, leave it and let me run this. So, it is 16 comma 4. The same thing I can write using list comprehension. So, let us write this thing using list comprehension and see how to write this, control C, control V. So, what I need? I need X into x for each value of x in a but if x mod 2 equal to equal to 0 this is what I want simply in English ok and let us run this so, it is working correctly. So, I think you are now getting how to write list comprehension. Okay, let us see one more example here. Write a program to copy only those square values of elements of a list which are divisible by 2 in an empty list. Uh, so, this is the previous problem. So, let me copy paste this. This will help me. Control C mm -hmm. and let me copy paste this here the entire thing control V ok now moving on if the elements are not divisible by 2 now here comes the additional condition if the elements are not divisible by 2 then copy those elements as it is ok so this will work if the elements are divisible by 2 square them else now I need else do not square them simply copy them. So, b dot append x do not square them simply copy them run it. Now, see the outputs if it is divisible by 2 4 is divisible by 2 it has been squared 2 is divisible by 2 squared 3 and 1 are not divisible by 2 they are appended unsquared. So, this is the basic concept now how to write this thing using list comprehension let me copy paste this control C and here ok this is marked down let me just correct this thing here and ok control V now what I need I let us see something there is a slight difference in this code and other codes and let us see this thing ok so here if you see this is x this is output ok so the basic syntax of writing list comprehension other than this english statement is let's see this 
first I need to write the output so I am writing x here and then I need to write the loop condition so I am writing this here ok let's check for another example also in this case also if you see what you need you need to write first output that is x into x so this is x into x and then the loop condition for x in a so for x in a so it's working ok moving here again you need to write the output x into x then you need to write the loop condition and then you if there is another loop then you have to write that loop also so it's working now what happens if you see these three examples here it is nested loop but output is same there is one output in above case also there is one output and in here also there is one output but when I use if else condition now there are two outputs so if you see here there are two outputs x into x and x so when I write this when I write this list comprehension for if else there is one slight change in the format let's try this thing so this is x into x so I'll write x into x the output first then I need to write the loop which is the outer loop so I will write for x in a then I need to write the inner loop so if I will write if sorry not here if I write here if x mod 2 equal to equal to 0 else more inner loop x and if I run this let me remove these things from here now if I run this syntax error okay because in if else condition there you there is a slight change in the format which you have to keep in mind now here I don't need to write the outer loop at first place first I have to write the inner loop then more inner loop if more inner loops are there and at last I have to write the outer loop this is only in if else condition otherwise the syntax will go that we have seen here we have analyzed in our language whatever we can write in English and how to see first you have to write the output then you have to write the outermost loop that is the basic syntax if there is a nested loop then first you have to write the output then outer loop and then inner loop and in all these cases output should be common there should be single output but now here if you see in if else condition two outputs are generated so I have got slight change in my format first I will write the if condition output then if a statement then else condition and then the inner loop and let us run this thing now it is working see the outputs the both outputs are same so this was all about list comprehension now list comprehension is a very conceptual topic it is a tough topic it is considered as a tough topic and it is considered as advanced topic also so you have to keep practicing this thing it can be looking difficult at this time but if you practice I try to explain it in very simple way a very simple way possible try to analyze this thing try to practice this because if you'll see on internet if you see python tutorials if you are following anything else people use list comprehension effectively and efficiently and they that makes them good programmer too so you have to practice this thing and list comprehensions are very handy they are very useful and they are used to make functions easy these are one liners but they make your function easy so with this thing keep practicing keep commenting if you have got any doubt and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you